Hi, my name is Valenda Shi. Welcome to another episode of my photography tips. Today I'd like to talk about the most important topic for a photographer, how to create strong composition for your photos. A common mistake many beginner or amateur photographers make is to include too many things in one photo, whether that's too many subjects, too many colors, too many lines, too many patterns. And when they become more serious about photography, they tend to spend more time improving the camera, the gear, instead of improving themselves. So today, let me remind you that it is you, the photographer, that makes a difference in a photo. And if you believe me that photography can be a tool of communication, and again, it is you, the photographer, not your camera, that's responsible to deliver your message to your audience. A couple months ago, I have shared a blog post about my less is more philosophy and seven approaches to create simple yet strong composition. So today, let me walk you through a few examples and share with you how you can improve your own composition. All right, today I'm going to show you some of my photos and some very simple exercises you can even go through today to simplify your composition and simplify your photos. All right, so number one thing to understand, every photo has two components. One is your foreground, one is your background. And oftentimes our, um, a lot of amateur photographers, especially beginner photographers, forget or don't know how to emphasize the foreground and sometimes you embed your foreground into a very crowded busy cluttered background so your viewers don't really know what your photo emphasizes um, so in order to correct that mistake um, let me show you the uh, exercises which is extremely simple pick a subject that you are passionate about and that's um, you can easily get access to in your everyday life whether that you know could be a flower it could be a, a person or it could be a pet or it could be food all right and pick something that interests you something you're passionate about something you can photograph almost every day so you can go through this exercise um, and find out how easy and how soon you can improve your composition how quickly you can um, improve your photos now uh, let me give you a example in the animals category for example, in next time, instead of photographing an animal's entire body and um, its uh, clutter background, uh, especially when the clutter background doesn't really support your story, for example, if your cat is standing right next to a trash can or your two dirty socks, uh, you absolutely need to get rid of the background or to simplify your background. There are four simple approaches either to walk up closer to your animal, to your subject, and the size matters. Uh, when you walk up closer, um, you know, your a viewfinder, and fill your viewfinder um, mainly with your subject, um, apparently the dirty or the crowded and cluttered background is going to be blocked by your main subject. And um, so you naturally draw the viewer's attention to your foreground, which is your, which is the animal. And sometimes if you cannot walk up closer to the animal, for example, uh, especially in the wilderness, you don't want it to scare the animal away, uh, you can zoom in um, to only focusing on the animal without moving too much closer, without moving yourself especially if you have a telescope lens. Now, um, oftentimes you can use a shallow depth of field, which is use a wide aperture and a small f-stop to blur the background. This is another approach to simplify your background and, clean, uh, and to create a clean image. And um, if you cannot get rid of the uh, cluttered background, it's completely okay to only focus on the foreground, which is your main subject, and completely get rid of the background. It is that simple. 
So let's very quickly go through the people category. It's just exactly the same. Instead of photographing the whole body, um, and especially if your background is cluttered, is very busy, you can completely focus on the upper body or the face and do the close up and do the shadow depth of field, blur the background, and sometimes combining several approaches together to create a simple photo. Similar example for flowers. Blur the background, zoom in, and uh, create very photograph one thing at a time. Walk up closer, place your camera only a few feet away from your subject, use a very simple color as the backdrop instead of um, using the entire house um, and um, the cluttered background as the backdrop. Uh, food, exactly the same. Put your camera only a couple of feet away from your main subject. You only photograph one thing at a time, one color at a time, or simple patterns at a time, or do the um, shallow depth of field Again, you know, um, keep one simple color um, as your background, a still subject, exactly the same. Move your camera closer to the subject. Um, move, um, try different angles. See if you can, where, which angle can give you the clean background. If you, by whatever um, tries, uh, you know, whatever ways you have tried and then you cannot achieve a simple background, it's completely okay to get rid of the background entirely and only focus on the foreground. Well, now you're going to ask how these exercises, everyday exercises can help you to improve your landscape photos. It's exactly the same principle. Instead of moving your camera just a few feet away from your subject, you move yourself. Walk around. Sometimes the best photos is really just a few feet away, or sometimes it could be a, just a few minutes walk away. So, for example, this is the Badlands uh, National Park in South Dakota I photographed a few months ago. Um, instead of uh, photographing this wide-angle view, which doesn't really have a very uh, dominant foreground, um, I move myself from here to and just to walk on this path, which is just two to three minutes away, maybe less, walk to the tip of this rock. I looked around and see whether I can find simple cutters, simple patterns. And you know, when I was looking toward this direction, I find the simple patterns. This is the photograph I ended up with. And I can completely get rid of the clouds and get rid of the sky as the background. And all I need to do is to focus on the simple things as the foreground or as the entire um, image. So another example, sometimes the cluttered part of your photo is not does n uh, not necessarily happen in the background. It could be lying in the foreground. Well, in this case, uh, instead of um, trying to get rid of the background, all you need to do is get rid of the clutter in the foreground. Turn your background into the foreground. It is that simple. So I hope that um, this um, simple exercise, uh, the foreground background exercise, um, you know, go through that for a few weeks. It could be a few days. It could be a few hours. You can find out how easy it is um, for you to clean up your photos and achieve a very simple composition. And um, after going through these exercises again and again, you can literally train your eyes from looking at the big picture at a time um, to looking at one subject at a time. So, well, I hope um, this video tutorial is somewhat helpful and uh, thank you so much for staying with me. Um, don't forget to sign up my website, BelindaSheet.com, go to the connect page um, and uh, I would be happy to share with you more exclusive tips and video tutorials um, to help you to improve your composition, improve your photos. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next episode very soon.